Hi everyone. Hi. So tonight I wanted to stop in and talk about the concept of contraction. So contraction or expansion. My question for you is this. Are you in contraction or are you in expansion? I want you to really tune into your body and ask this question and see which one comes in. This is very important because you can only manifest in the state of expansion. You can only draw to you what you desire in a state of expansion. You can be in alignment if you are in expansion. When you're in contraction, I mean, think of it this way. The physical body, when it's in contraction, the muscle contracts. You know, you get tension in your shoulders. You got, um, you know, tension in the chest. You know, everything just kind of tightens up and it creates pain. It creates an imbalance within the body. The same thing happens on the energetic level. If your physical body is in contraction, and it starts from that energetic level where um, that's, that's, remember, imbalances start on that upper level, right? It begins with the spiritual dimension. If it is not resolved, then it comes to the mental dimension. If it is not, then it comes to the emotional. If it is not resolved, then it, be, it comes into that physical body and manifests into that physical body as an imbalance or a disease or an illness. And so if you're already feeling that contraction in that in your physical body, it's the same thing that is going on energetically. What causes contraction? Fear, doubt. What causes expansion? It's when you have trust, when you have faith with the divine, when you are aligned with your with your north star, when you're aligned with your higher self, when you're aligned with the divine source. When you trust that, regardless of what is going on in your life, the divine will always provide for you, that the divine always has your back. That is in a state of expansion. And so now that we're getting closer to the end of the year, you know, we're starting to think about what we would like to experience in the following year in 2017, right? And, you know, most of it, like for me, you know, I'm already writing down my, my intentions and my goals, you know, writing what I would like to experience in 2017. And I have a whole ritual about around it that I do um, every December around this time um, towards the end of the year. But this is the time that we begin to think about what we would like to manifest, right, in the, in the following year. And we start to make the list. We start to write down our goals, our intentions. I was talking to a friend today and I realized that she, she was talking about um, how she writes down intentions and goals. Um, she keeps writing the same intention, but it never happens. And immediately it dawned on me, like just analyzing her energetic field, I realized she's in a major contraction. Her words are in expansion, but her energetic field and her physical body is in contraction. That's is creating that, that opposites, like it's repelling each other. For the divine to be able to step in and work with you, you have to trust. And by trusting, you expand your energy. So here's the thing. Just like when you raise your vibration, you also expand. When you're in a state of joy, your energy fields expand. And here's the thing. When you're in a state of expansion, your physical body also feels good. You don't feel that tenseness. You don't feel that tightness. You know, everything just kind of relax because you know that regardless, regardless of what happens, it will come to be. It is meant to be whatever it is that you are desiring will come to you in effortless way that the universe is conspiring for you to receive that which you ask for. The universe does have your back, but it takes that trust and faith to really be in a state of expansion. So it's very easy for us to be in that state of 
contraction. Sometimes we don't even realize when we're in that state of contraction unless, you know, our neck muscle tightens up and we can't move or, you know, like our back starts to hurt or something begins like pain is usually the indication that we have contracted our energetic field. So before you, before you let it get to that pain where it, remember pain is the body's way of trying to get your attention that, Hey, wake up. Something's not right. Wake up, pay attention here, right here. Bring energy there. Let's do something there. Get it back into balance. It's out of balance. It's your body's way of communicating with you. Unfortunately, this is like the last minute when we've ignored all the other signs. And this is like the final sign that a body's like, pay attention or the next step is not going to be good. So before you wait till you get to that pain stage, what you can do is simply ask, Every time you write down an intention, especially if you have a goal or intention that you've been asking the universe for a long time and it seems that it hasn't happened, first, it could be that it is not for your greatest good, that there's something much better coming your way. Second, it could be that the universe is, is shaping you and guiding you to get there, you know, like creating a path for you so they can happen. Perhaps it's bigger than you can even imagine and it would take time. Or third, that, yeah, like I was saying, there's something greater for you. There's something much greater for you. Oh, yeah, the third one was that even though you're saying it out loud, that this is what I want, inward is the opposite of that. You're in fear. You're in the scarcity mindset, right? And you are afraid. You're actually afraid that you will not receive that which you, re you asked for. Well, that puts you in that contraction, energetically, physically, on all different levels, mental, emotional, spiritually, contraction. When you create that contraction, your energy field contracts and it creates this boundary which literally repels all those, all that, the things that you, were, you desire from you. It repels it because you've become the opposite of that which you're asking for. And this is what was shown to me today while I was listening to um, my friend talk. It's that the contraction, when your energy field contracts, it forms this layer around you that literally repels the blessings and the magic that divine is showering onto you constantly. So how can you get out of contraction? It is actually quite easy. First, you need to be aware of your, your bodies. And I'm saying bodies because there's a physical body. There's also the mental body, emotional body, and the spiritual body. You need to be aware of that. Start tuning into all your um, levels of your body so that you can realize if there's a disharmony somewhere and actually bring energy there and heal it before it manifests on the physical. Second... You just need to do the things that make you happy, like listening to music, like journaling. I love journaling, like watching your favorite movie, something that is high vibrational or being around someone who motivates you and, and, you know, feels good to you. Do something that raises your vibration. Do something that makes you feel good. Third, visualization. Actually, before we go to visualization, let's go to nature. So third will be nature. Take a little break. You know, you feel that tenseness. You feel that stress. Take a little break from whatever you're doing and just go outside and walk in, you know, walk with, walk with the trees, you know, walk barefoot on the grass. Be around plants. Be around animals. Be one with nature and really set the intention for nature to help you to bring balance to all levels of your body. And then the last one, the one that I saved for last is visualization. So I have this visualization that I usually teach all my clients and my students. And this is how you can do it. When you visualize, it's like visualizing your healing to be, receiving light from the divine and actually visualizing the balancing of all the different levels of your body. So let me walk you through this real quick. So just taking some deep breaths. 
to center, center your, your mind to your heart. And imagine from the top of your head, a huge pillar of light to literally coming down, going through the top of your head, entering your body, and then anchoring within your heart. And within your heart, it expands out into this beautiful bubble of light around you, this fluid bubble of light, breathable bubble of light. Then bring your attention to the bottoms of your feet. And from your feet, send roots digging deep down into Mother Earth. So use your breath to inhale. And with your exhale, you start to dig your roots deeper and deeper and deeper until you reach the center of the earth. And there in Gaia's womb, you see another bubble or another light. It could be a crystalline light. Whatever it is that Gaia wants to show you, that's what you're going to receive. But I want you to wrap that your roots around the light bubble or this crystalline, whatever it is, just wrap it around and feel that strength, that anchor, the grounding. And with your in, in breath, go ahead and drink in whatever light energy that is. So bring it up through your roots, through your legs, your thighs, up through your hips, filling in all those spaces all the way up through your stomach and into your heart where it anchors and again it expands into another beautiful bubble of light around you remember now you have the energy of the divine father within your heart combined with the energy of the divine mother in union and expanded into this beautiful nurturing supporting abundant strong, protective bubble around you. And I want you to breathe here. Just breathe here. Breathe in this bubble. And observe how you feel within your body. Bring your consciousness to any part of your body that is feeling that tightness, that tenseness, that achiness, that pain. Bring your attention there using your breath. Connect to that area. And imagine this crystalline, silvery, golden star right in front of that area. And it begins to suck out all that imbalance within that area of your body. If you want to do this for your entire body, you can see that star right in front of you. And literally just sucking it out of your entire body. And you know, this is something you can do even at the end of the night. Because you've been outside. God knows what you've picked up on. Whose energy you're trying to process through your body. But this is a great way to release anything that is not in vibration with you. Anything that is not for your highest good. And so just see that star. Actually, let's do that. I really like that. Let's focus on the whole entire body. I'm getting that for everyone. And imagine that star in front of you, shining bright, powerful, oscillating, vibrating. And it begins to suck out all that, any imbalance and any dis-ease, any illnesses, anything that is not for your highest good, any kind of energy so you've picked up um, throughout the day from anybody. It begins to suck it all out. And just use your breath to assist in this process. Let it all go. Let it all go. It does not benefit you anymore. Just release it all. There you go. And you can do this for as long as is needed. You will know when it's done when that vortex or the, the, the sucking out is done. There's nothing else to suck out. There you go. And you can already feel like your your muscles are relaxing, your mind is in that relaxed state. You can feel like a nice release in your body. I know I feel that right now. I feel really good. And now let's go ahead and fill you up with the unconditional love of the divine. 
So it is a beautiful, big golden bubble right here, pouring through your crown, filling into every single space within your body, surrounding every organ, surrounding every muscle and tendon, everywhere within your body, going down and anchoring into the, into Mother Earth. So it's, it's almost like this shower. It could be a shower of golden light, even like washing down you, but also filling in all those split, um, spaces within you that you just release something from. So you, I'm, I'm getting like a picture of organs, um, like this golden light surrounding your organs, lungs, which I'm getting like grief was released. The organs is like um, not being able to digest your food or not being able to digest your, wor your world, like what your reality, what you receive in your reality. I'm getting like the the neck muscles relax and letting go of all that. Some of you were holding other people's baggages. Some of you have been just carrying your own karma from lifetime and lifetime and lifetime. And you just kind of released it. So that's where that freedom is coming in. That the light just kind of fill in all that space. The back, I'm getting healing of the back. Let it just wash over the back and just bring in that support. Yes, let it bring in that support. Warm, golden fluid running through your entire body. There you go. And now bring your consciousness to that bubble of light that is around you. Taking a deep breath in and with your exhale, go ahead and expand that bubble so that now it's like the size of the room you're in. Go ahead and take in another deep breath in. Expand it even more so that it is the size of your entire house or your apartment. Take in another deep breath in and just keep expanding it. You can expand it as big as you feel comfortable to. Only you know how big it can be. It can be as big as the planet, like literally covering the planet. Or it can be as big as just the room you're in. It's totally fine. But go ahead and just using your breath, expand that bubble of light around you. And you can already feel that release on all levels, not just your physical body, your mind, your emotions, your connection with the divine. It's almost like an opening. That's how I see it. An opening so that the divine can really truly flow in. The inspiration can flow in. The creative ideas can come in. So just be in this expanded state. And if you have an intention, I want you to actually state it now. Remember, you're speaking this to the divine, so you don't have to say it out loud. But in that being in this state, just say it to the divine. This is your conversation with your divine self, with a divine source. So just let it go. It is done. It's as simple as that. So whenever you feel that tightness, check in with that bubble of light around you. First, I want you to anchor, like get in alignment with the divine. So bring in that light pillar to your heart, expand it. From Mother Earth up, expand it. If you need to release something, do that star vortex where it just sucks out anything that is not yours and i recommend doing that anyways because we take on so much from our environment and then bring your attention to your bubble of light and just breathe using your in breath and your out breath expand it just expand your bubble of light and just be in this state i feel very free right now that's like this Mm, that felt good. That felt really good. Just breathe in this state. And you can do, do this anytime, anywhere. Remember, it's all about consciousness. Bring your consciousness to it and expand. Like, think about your bubble of light. Check in. Is it too tight? Expand it. And, you know, you can see an aff affirmation is this. After you, you've expanded yourself, like, I am ready to receive. I am ready to receive. I am ready to receive. I am open to receive. I am open to receive. I am open to receive. 
Ah, felt good. So do this exercise. Let me know how it worked for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me, um, send me a message so we can talk more about this. But otherwise, enjoy this, this place of expansion where you can receive all that your heart desires. And thank you. Thank you for doing this with me. Namaste. Good night.